Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name's Alyssa. This is one of my first videos here. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you guys through how I made a DIY sweatshirt with my Cricut Maker for a Christmas gift. Uh, it's a, such a nice, thoughtful gift to make for your family or your friends. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I've got my material loaded into my machine. I chose to use a flocked vinyl for this project. I wanted something a little more elevated, a little more aesthetic, and a flocked vinyl gives you a little bit of a raised feel to the sweatshirt, a little bit of a puffed look. Um, do keep in mind, flocked vinyl is a little tougher to weed out. It's a little bit more stiff. But as you can see here, I am making it work. Just having a little bit of patience really pays off. So when choosing the file uh, for this project, I wanted something that was on trend and aesthetic. Uh, so I did pick one from Design Space. I didn't have time to make my own file. I do design my own SVGs, but for this project, I wanted something quick. You can use either your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Explore to make a vinyl shirt. Um, I usually use a heat press for my sweaters and my t-shirts, but today I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press. I'm working in my dining room today. Uh, I've been at home with sick kids all week, so it's easy to, it was easier for me to move everything upstairs so that I could be available to my kids if they needed me. Now that we're almost finished with our vinyl, I'm going to move on over to heating my heat press. So my easy press is up to temperature. Um, it's always best practice to double check your temperature and your pressing time. I'm right now I'm ironing out any wrinkles out of the sweater before applying my vinyl. I have kind of pre-measured where I'm going to, um, apply the vinyl. I've made a lot of t-shirts in the past um, and so I have a lot of experience with I can pretty much eye it perfectly um, but I highly recommend that you use a t-shirt ruler or a measuring tape. I will link um, some t-shirt rulers in the description box below. I'm going to start with the first part of the vinyl here, the outline. It's easier to, for me to add the outline first, and then we will add in the middle portion. So here I'm pressing for the 15 seconds, 15 seconds and medium pressure. Now with flocked vinyl, the flocked vinyl I'm using requires you to remove the paper when, or the peel it after it's cool. You see here, I didn't wait until it was cooled enough and it started to pull the vinyl up with it. So I just quickly press that down again. <clears throat> and now I'm going to let the vinyl cool before peeling. And even more so here, I probably could have left it for another minute or so, but I'm impatient. And so we're carefully peeling that off. Gosh, doesn't that look cute already? Okay, so now we're going to add the middle portion. I just love this design. I think it's so adorable with the cute little snowflakes that are cut into the letters. So I'm carefully going to position this. Pardon my shoulder. Carefully position it within the outline. All right, so, oh, almost made a mistake there. So we always wanna make sure that we have all of our vinyl covered with the protective lining before repressing, right? So we never wanna press the vinyl when it's bare and there's no um, protective lining covering the vinyl. 
So it's really important that you always have the protective film or parchment paper covering that vinyl so that you're never pressing bare vinyl onto your heat press or your easy press. And that will help protect your heat plates. So now that we've finished pressing that second layer, we've let it cool. We can peel it off and reveal our gorgeous new design. I just love these Letterman style designs. And this one is just perfect with the cute little snowflakes cut out into the letters. Super festive. And how cute is this? All right, guys, that's the end for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Ask any questions you have below and let me know what you want to see next time. Thanks a lot.